This week's tip is about grafting garter stitch and I've got two pieces of garter stitch here and um, notice that I have my needle side by side, top needle, bottom needle, and then on both of these needles facing me right now I have the side of the garter stitch where the purl bumps are immediately under the stitch on the needle. If I'm to turn these over you can see that on the other side I have a knit stitch immediately before um, the stitch on the needle. Now I line them up this way because how I'm actually going to be grafting these when they're done is I'm going to be grafting this side where I have the purl bumps and on this side the knit stitches. So I want to have them looking like this as I graft them. Now the other thing to consider when you're grafting is that ideally you should have the same number of stitches. If you should have one more, it really isn't the end of the world. Just start on that side, but it is easier if you have the same number of stitches. And depending on the project, what you can do is you can, if you have an extra stitch, you can de decrease on a row or so before in order to get this. It's just going to be a little easier if you do that. Now, I've got my yarn tail, and when you're grafting, um, you want to have a long enough tail that you can do the whole thing. Yes, you can join another yarn, but it's a big pain in the butt, so it's better off if you do this. The other thing you want to notice is you want to look at your own garter stitch, and you've got these ridges, and there's a certain amount of space between the ridges. This is going to vary from yarn to yarn, project to project, from knitter to knitter, but when I finish my grafting, I want to make sure that I have it looking like this, and in my blog for this entry, and I have a link to my blog. I'm going to show you examples of how you can screw up the looks of your uh, grafted piece if you have them too small <coughs> or too wide. Now the first step is to prepare and we're going to be doing something special on this one and on this one because my, they're my first and my last. And to start I want to go in purl wise to my first stitch. And I'm going to keep my yarn under my needles. You don't want to have it on top. It's going to create extra space up there if you do that. And so, all right, preliminary step done. Now, what I'm going to want to do, since I've done my preliminary step, is I want to go in knit wise into that first stitch. And I'm going to be going into two stitches every time, knit wise into this one and purl wise into this guy, the second stitch. And I want to kind of pull it not too tight. Um, sometimes I'll see directions for this and they'll say be sure and pull it tight. Well, you don't want to do that. Uh, it's easier to fix if it's loose than too tight. Now I'm going to go in here, knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, purl wise, and you can see that you know if you keep telling yourself this is what you're doing you're not going to forget. I try and not put this down when I'm doing it because if you get off it's not going to look good. Knit wise, drop, purl wise, knit wise, drop, purl wise, and knit wise, and purl wise. Now I've got enough of my fabric off that I can kind of give it a look and notice that it doesn't look great. It's a lot looser. Well what I need to do, and by the way when you're practicing this for the first time you may want to um, consider um, using a different color but I'm going to clean it up later. Now I'm going to do a part two to this video where I clean it up. I'm just going to go through and get to the end. Knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, ways, wise, purl wise, Knit wise, purl wise, knit wise, 
Curlwising. See, I'm getting there. I'm almost done. Knitwise. Pearlwise. Knitwise. Pearlwise. Knitwise. Pearlwise. Now I've got these two last stitches here that I've gone in through pearlwise by themselves. So that means I need to do what to finish it off? Go into both of them knitwise. Knitwise and knitwise and I'm done. Now this does not look great and in my next video um, I'm going to show you how to clean this up. Part two.